Hey guys, what's going on? Randy from Moto Drang, and we're going to do a quick hang with Drang on the Custom Busa updates. Now, first of all, this video goes out to John T. Thanks for lighting the fire under my seat to get me actually talking about this thing again. I mean, I make all these videos and you see this bike in the background. I just haven't been talking about it much because there's been a, a holdup. Those of you who've been following about this bike know that we spent a long time on the development of the ability to hide wires, uh, the bullet fairing, uh, exactly what we were going to do stylistically with this bike. Uh, and that all came to fruition really well, I think. It's a fun bike to ride on top of that. You'll notice here we're, we're missing a seat. And that's the point that we are now. Now, I'm working with uh, Shelby from Schaefer Upholstery here in Oregon. And uh, he is uh, a really talented upholsterer. And he's working on us a really nice seat. So I'll give you guys just a little info on that. The seat's going to be a diamond stitch pattern. Uh, it will be a straight seat, it'll be very dense foam, it'll be grabber fabric. The problem this bike has is it's very fast, very powerful, you guys know it's a Hayabusa, so I mean, it's, it is a Gen 1, so obviously there's more powerful bikes out there now, but for what it is, it's, it's pretty snappy and there's a lot of torque. So your butt slides off, it's grabber fabric, so keep your butt from flying off the back of this thing uh, under hard acceleration. Well, that's the the next big step, anyways, is getting this thing, uh, getting the seat put on it, and she's basically rideable. Now, I have a couple plans for the future. I'm considering putting on a more clubman style handlebar, maybe something a little bit more sporty, um, be, just because again, the bike likes to go fast, and it, and it really is better to be in a tucked in position. The next thing is, I'm looking forward to working with Alex from AM Customs once again, the guy who really masterminded all the cool stuff on this bike. Uh, to do some decorative metal work on the side of the bike. That's to cover, oh, you know, hoses and cables and stuff and, uh, you know, protect the radiator. I mean, here, pulling leaves and stuff out of it now. So uh, I'd really not like to get a rock stuck in there, bust the oil cooler or the radiator. So we're going to be doing some protective work that's decorative and a little other finishing touches and maybe even some decorative lighting. So performance-wise... I really only want to add a steering damper on this bike. Uh, the steering damper that comes on a Gen 1 Hayabusa is not that great, and now it doesn't have one at all. So I'm thinking about putting a triple tree top uh, mounted steering dampener. So hopefully this, uh, you know, those of you who are interested in the project, give you guys an update. I'm still working on it, and this is a, a big part of uh, my life. And as far as, I mean, I started the YouTube channel for this bike. It just sort of turned into bike reviews and. Uh, me rambling about other stuff. So with that said, you guys ride safe. I'll catch you guys next time. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the subscriber support. Uh, you know, we're getting towards a thousand. That's like a huge deal to me. Just uh, waking up in the morning, checking the comments and responding. It's a, you know, so thanks again, John T. And uh, this one goes out to you.